Alright, hello, this is like my fifth attempt of recording this, so Welcome to another one of these videos where I basically give you my thoughts of what I think about the uh, the next Papalua game that's gonna come out. If you've been around for a while, you probably have seen I've seen uh, this uh, this kind of video before, so uh, that's what I'm going to do. So let's just jump from the beginning. So I'm going to go through every single preview that they have on this game, and uh, that's it. So it's not really surprising that the next Papalua game is gonna come out. Is gonna come out next week or well yeah next week because that's that marks the 10 years anniversary for Papa's Pizza HD so so it's really cool that they decided to time it to be honest I think that the game would have been out before if they didn't want to time it if it I think it uh it w it's already completed now and probably already ready for release but it's really nice that they completed the exact date 10 years later so let's just uh, wait at the beginning here so today we are busy over here at flying studios today to say we to say we're busy over here at flying studios will be, will be an understatement just two weeks ago we launched papa's pizza pancake or hd shortly after launch we were amazed to witness that app reached number two for all paid apps wow that's actually pretty incredible <laughs> Uh, that is the highest rank we have ever reached and probably ever will. Looking at your Minecraft. <laughs> and that's all thanks to our awesome fans who made the impossible possible. But back to the main subject, us being very busy. Normally we'd like to do HD to go, HD to go type pattern, but we have but we have a very special app on the way for a very special occasion. So yeah, because of 2017, because of because that marks the 12th uh, 10th year anniversary of Papa's Pizza, they decided to do this game, so it is basically like a brand new game because Papa's Pizzeria, which was the first one to come out, there, there was no furniture, there was there was no customization, there was no closers, there was no mini games, there was no nothing basically. So the game is going to be brand new. There's no one, there was no unlockable ingredients, no holidays, or no new features at all. While Papa's Pancake uh, it's not the newest game, it still had a few, one of those new features. This one has absolutely none, so it's going to be exciting to see all the, who the closest are going to be, and stuff like that, I, I guess we just gotta wait and see, so. I am going to do this game as soon as I can, I just gotta go through everything of you know, this, so I can click to the, on the new previews right here, so we're just gonna go to the very bottom to see the first one, so. The first one is not a big of a deal, but of course, it is the outside Papa's Pizza HD. Nice way to kind of, you know, delay it a little bit. Delay all the things everyone want to know. Because for this week's sneak peek, we want to show off the improvements we have made to the exterior of Papa's, Papa's Pizza. So you can see here that it's kind of different from, from this to this. <laughs> it is completely different, actually. So uh, that's really cool. So it lo looks way better. So, however, in time, you ever find the exterior of Papa's Pizza and pull back the camera to give you a greater view of Tasty Well. So, you can see Big Paul's Pepper, and you can see the other buildings around there as well. So, and in the apartment right there. It looks cool. Not not the most exciting feature, but but it definitely looks better than the original and uh, cool. <laughs> this is a nice one, though. Alright, so, sneak peek, Roy and Joy. What's really cool is that in Papa's Pizza HD, with all the new stuff we are adding to the game, Roy and Joy can now officially work together. That's really cool. So, for those of you who don't know, Joy is basically Ninjoy, but her, uh, it's her secret identity that was confirmed in Papa's Sushiria. A lot of you guys pointed that out in my video. So, yup. In Papa's Pizza HD, if you use Roy and or Joy as your workers, you will have access to their alternate outfits. As some of you may know, in Papa's Sushi Raid, it was officially confirmed that Joy's secret identity is Ninja. That means you can dress Joy up in her ninja outfit, as you can do that with Roy as well, <laughs> which is really cool. Um, I think I'm probably going to stick to Roy when I do this game, for the sake of old school, I think. I think that's the best way to go about it, because Roy was basically the first worker and since it's Flipline's 10th year anniversary on this game I think that is the best thing to do but that's just my opinion it's always nice to have custom workers as well so 
All right, moving on to the build station. This is by far the coolest feature so far, and probably it is my favorite of all because it's it is basically like a brand new game, as I've said so many times. But I I love it. I really love this uh, feature. So. When it was time to make a pizza, you were presented with a pre-made pizza that had sauce and cheese already applied. Although this kept things nice and simple, it felt like something was missing. So for Papa's Pizza HD, we completely remade the whole pizza building process. Let us guide you through the new and improved build station. Uh, the first step in building a pizza is choosing the crust will have traditional crispy along with a wide variety of other crusts that you'll unlock as you play. Once you pick the correct crust, it's time to choose the sauce. So. So they they will have lots of crusts, lots of cheeses, and lots of lots of stuff. And uh, it seems like they've picked a great mechanic for it as well. We'll obviously go through it once we play the game. I'm not going to go in, into any more details except that it looks like there are going to be a lot of toppings as well, and that's definitely really really cool. Instead of just a few, I think they're gonna have dozens and dozens of toppings. There's so many they can pick. Jesus Christ, it's a pizza and you can choose, it's basically every vegetable uh, that exists can be placed on a pizza, basically. That explains quite a lot, and yeah, there, there's definitely going to be a lot of good stuff in this game that we, that we can be, look, that we can look forward to. I, I, I'm going to do my very best to come as far as I can on Papa's Pancake Ray HD, so I can focus mainly on this one, but. I'm going to focus mainly on this one anyway, and when I'm done with this one, I'm going to finish Papa's Pancake Creation. But alright, let's just uh, move on to the sneak peeks, so the, the delivery phone. The original prim premise of Papa's Pizzeria is that, is that Papa Louie has left a lone delivery boy in charge of an entire pizzeria, so when the time came, we decided to f forego. <laughs> uh, forego? Oh, I guess that's a new word I didn't know. The whole dining room server hiring process for a more fitting delivery driver job. I would say forget is probably what he meant, but probably forego is a word that I don't know. I'm not fluent, I'm Norwegian, so my English is just average. It's not the best. First things first, to be able to take orders for delivery every for delivery every pizzeria needs a good old fashioned phone. So we technically have two phones in Papa's Pizza HD, one in the lobby, one in the lobby, and one in the back. While taking orders from customers in the lobby, occasionally the phone will start ringing with a take order button popping above it. So that's really cool as well. It's tradition. Okay, it's nice to look at the posters as well. But yeah, that, that that's a fun feature. Instead of the dining dining room, you now take orders from the phone instead. So that's really really cool. They're very great. They're very good at like thinking of new features. It's kind of incredible that they manage to think of something new every single time. For me, I can't really think of. I don't have any features at all that I can think of. And that's kind of incredible. Oh yeah, that's my girlfriend there. <laughs> yeah, I have absolutely no features that I can think of for the next Papa Louie game. So, at least. Not in the top of my head, at least. So it's amazing how they always manage to find something new. Hey everyone, this week I wanted to confirm that the first time ever, Papa's Pizza Rebel will be celebrating seasons and holidays. This is the Starlight Barbecue. It looks cool. You can see the sauce and the type of meat that they're going to serve. Probably that's the crust, kind of sunny crust. I'll assume that there are more, to more toppings than that, than three, but... You never know. Probably a new cheese or whatever. Who knows? Maybe a new sauce. That remains to be seen. It's, there's nothing more to be said about it except that it looks cool. Star that barbecue is, is again making its return to Papa's Pizzeria HD, but it's been a common holiday, so. So, yeah. That's kind of it. I'm trying to go through this as fast as I can. I don't want to be talking for like. 20, 30, 40, 50 minutes. <laughs> but yeah, there's nothing really to say about it. So let's just move on to the final, final previews of this game. So first all, first all, uh, first of all, we're starting off with a new customer. So basically, this is another preview to delay because obviously they have to release the game at the seventh, uh, the seventh, 
or is it 6th? I think it's the 7th of August. And that means that a new customer is going to arrive, and the way they do that is, without spoiling it, is just to put a, scre a screenshot of Hallway Hunt. So yeah, you'll have to play to find who it is, but it will be one of the seven closers in the game. Who knows how that's going to change things, so... That's cool. Obviously a, way, a good way for them to delay it. Um, let's move on to the grill, the bake station. This week we want to show off the bake station, so... Wow, the original is definitely showing its age. So now that you got an eye full of that, let's check out the new and improved bake station. So you can see the difference. The difference is insanely huge. I can't even click on it. I can't click on either of those two images, but when you look at this image, this is a long time ago. Holy crap. Welcome, Roy. All right. You can see the stations at the very top as well. But look here, this is... This is very, very improved and looks way better and looks very, very nice. I don't know why I used that word so many times. So in this version, you'll still have a grill that can hold four pizzas at a time. Pizzas can be cooked in several different ways, half-baked, regular, and well done. We have added the tray to the left for incoming pizzas and a tray to the right for pizzas that are finished baking. We have also added upgrades like cooking alarms and boosters. So you can see the cook cooking alarms on the left here. The boosters are the firing things. Um, yeah, looks cool. You can see that they have added tomatoes and they have added ham on the pizzas and they have added bacon as well. At least that's what I can tell. Probably some new peppers. The yellow ones, the green ones were in the original as far as I remember. Very, very cool indeed. Let's move on to the specials. Specials were, the f were first introduced in Papa's Cheese Area, but from the very beginning we couldn't help but think of all the possibilities we could have ha we could have if special in Papa's Pizzeria. The example above was based on the pa of the Papa's Cookbook recipe of the same name, the Romano Quartet Pizza. <laughs> oh man, that's cool. We had such a fun time coming up with the special that ranged from the tra traditional, like, the works, to the regular favorites like Fuguza, Fugasa con Jamon, and brand new ones that we haven't seen anywhere yet. Stay tuned for more sneak peeks of Papa's Pizza HD. So that's cool. I'm really looking forward to see what the special will look like. I mean, when it comes to pizzas, you can basically choose like Pizza Hawaii kind of as a special or Hawaii or whatever, because that's like a pizza that exists. Like they can use a lot of pizzas that exist, while at the same time they can think of new ones. So that's really cool. I'm really looking forward to this game. I'm, there's been a long time since I've been this excited for for an HD game. I mean, I'm really looking forward to this, and I'm going to be busting my ass off to get the videos up for you guys. It's an it's an asshole sometimes because of the recorder, but that's another story that I'm not gonna go through right now. But I'm really looking forward to this. It's going to be amazing. And I'm going to complete it as much as I can. Not with every goal customer, but I'm going to unlock every single sticker and every single special and every single customer and every single ingredient. I think that is the best way to go about these games. Just takes too much time to get everyone on gold. Alright, moving on to the cut station. So, uh, this was a sneak peek they showcased actually the, the two days later or something. Once you've built and baked the perfect pizza for your customer, you will head over to the cut station. Here you'll cut your pizza up in the correct amount of slices, depending on what your customer has specified. Pizzas can be cut into 4, 6, 8, or 9 slices. Each type of cut has an optional guide that you can buy in the shop if you're well-earned tips. You can see the guides right here. This is not so difficult though, but I remember I was struggling in Papa's Pizzeria, the original one. We'll see how this plays out in this one. Looks awesome as well. Nothing new to get from that ticket right there. And that's it. <laughs> Let the countdown begin on the seven more days under Papa's Pizzeria HD. I'm not gonna end the video yet though, since I haven't gone through this one. But August 7th, 2007 was the day everything changed for us here at Full Blind Studios. So yeah. So you can see the difference between the, the new page and like the old Papa Louis side, how it has changed from the way that it looks right now. So it, it's so different that it's almost unbelievable. And yeah, 
I think this is a newer version, maybe not. I don't know. At that point, there was no turning back. We were either going to make it as a game as game developers or not make it at all. Luckily, Palace Pizzeria struck a chord of players, and it became even more popular than our previous game. At the time, the gameplay was a relatively new concept, best captured by one of the first reviews for Papa's Pizzeria on jsgames.com. Papa's Pizzeria by Flipline Studios in Ohio is more than your average resource management game. While a typical entry in the, in the vein of Diner Dash would require a little more than clicking on various hotspots to make, make and deliver the food to, the, to customers, Papa's Pizzeria gives it a more personal touch. Rather than clicking in on an order and then on the station for topping the pizza, only to watch the pizza top itself, you must actually top the pizza yourself. Well, that's pretty nice. Pretty crazy, right? Now we're we are so used to the gamer mechanic that we even coined the term gamer to describe our Papa's games. With all of that being said, we're quickly approaching the 10 year anniversary of the launch of the original Papa's Pizzeria. So we could so we would formally like to announce that Papa's Pizzeria HD will be launching exactly 10 years after the original on August 7th, 2017. So we're getting this on the iPad. I am going to put up videos as much as I can. I hope you guys will enjoy it. There will be a video that's going to come every day. And uh, what are you guys' thoughts about this game? And uh, what's your favorite feature? Let me know down in the comments below. So, thanks a lot for watching. I don't think there's any. There's a lot more for me to say, really. I'm just really pumped to play this game and uh, excited to see all the new ingredients and all the new features and all the new the new customer as well. Everything. So that's going to be great. And. Um, I'll see you guys in a week with uh, this game. In the meantime, I'm going to put up a few more Papa's Pancake HD videos, and um, all of a sudden it's going to be August 7th, and uh, that's when uh, the first my first video of this game will be uploaded. So stay tuned, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.